Hello my sweet cutie and lovely math lovers. I brought an interesting math problem for you. Here 4 divided by 4 and which is divided by 4 and that is also divided by 4. It seems like a simple problem but many students make mistake in their calculation in this type of mathematical challenges. I will show you what's the correct method to solve these teeny mini and simple mathematical challenges. I'm gonna to solve this simple mathematical problem five different ways and I will show you where is the common mistake that students do in their exam approach number one if we consider these first two parameters means if we work out on this 4 divided by 4 first it will be this way 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 and then this divided 4 and then next 4 after that I will work out on this 4 divided by 4 mean 1 divided by 4 divided by 4 means 1 so 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 so this is the answer if we approach this and that that. but I am not telling this is the correct answer or not in the second approach I will divide this second 4 and third 4 together at the first step so at the first step this 4 remaining the same and then this 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 and then divided by 4 and next step is I will divide this 4 by this 1 that mean 4 divided by 1 is divided by 4 and then naturally 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 by this approach also I found the answer of 1 I'm not telling this is correct or wrong well let's go to the third approach in the third approach in first step I will divide this 4 by that 4 which mean is 4 divided by 4 and this 4 divided by 4 mean this is 1 and next step I will divide this 4 by 1 that mean next step will be 4 divided by this 4 divided by 1 is equal to 4 which is also 4 divided by 4 is also 1 so this first approach second approach and third approach all of them are giving the same results which is 1 let's follow the fourth approach in this fourth approach let's work out on this first two numbers means 4 divided by 4 so 4 divided by 4 which is equal to 1 divided by this 4 and then divide by that 4 in this step I want to work out this again this first two numbers that means 1 divided by 4 0 0.25 divided by 4 now this 0 0.25 means 1 divided by 4 and we can convert this divide sign by multiplication sign and this 4 in that case will be 1 over 4 that means 1 over 4 and 1 over 4 means 1 over 16 this is the fourth approach let's solve the fifth approach in that case next step is 4 divided by this 4 divided by 4 means 1 divided by 4 and then next step I want to work out on this last two numbers means 1 divided by 4 that mean 4 divided by 1 divided by 4 and then this 4 this divide sign can be right as multiplication in this case it will be inverted means 1 over 4 is inverted into 4 4 times 4 is 16 I followed total 5 different approaches in first approach I got the answer is 1 in second approach I got the answer 1 as well third approach I got the answer 1 and in fourth approach I got the answer as 1 over 16 and in fifth method I got the answer 16 question is what is the correct answer as you can see here I just change this consideration where I work out at the first step and second step and so on so on that gives different different result I would like to say in this first approach this is not correct similarly in this second approach that's not also correct the third approach this is not also correct the fourth method is not correct but somehow the answer is correct the answer from the fifth method is not correct as well why does this fourth answer is correct then let me explain the fact what is the correct approach to solve this mathematical statement right 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 that is the question so I will show you what is the correct approach to solve this mathematical problem before that I want to request one thing I spent quite some time creating this video just for you guys would you please give me few seconds of your time for subscribing this channel your subscription will inspire me to create more better videos 
Now let me show you the correct method to solve this mathematical problem. The correct approach is you have to start from left to right. Each time you work out only these two digit. That means you have to first work out this 4 divided by 4 which mean 1 and then divide by 4 and then divide by 4. As I said, you have to always start from left to right, whatever is that. Next step is 1 divided by 4. So 1 divided by 4, I can rewrite like this way. 1 divided by 4 and then divide by 4. Similarly, 1 divided by 4 and this divide sign can be converted into multiplication sign in that case this 4 will convert it into its inverse 4 that means 1 over 4 the inverse 4 means 1 over 4 1 over 4 multiplied by 1 over 4 nominator is 1 multiplied by 1 means 1 and denominator is 4 multiplied by 4 is equal to 16 that means 1 over 16 is the answer of this mathematical problem that we solve that means if you encounter this type of problem just solve from left to right this is the correct approach let's try another example let us consider 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 and then divide by 3 as i mentioned the correct approach is to work out from left to right two digit at a time that means first two digit is 3 divided by 3 which is equals to 1 then divide by 3 and then divide by 3 that means this 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1 and remaining this 3 and 3 as it is similarly again we have to work out from left to right two digit this 1 divided by 3 we can rewrite this form as like this 1 over 3 then divide by last 3 and then 1 divided by 3 this divide sign can be converted into multiplication sign in that case this 3 will be its inverted 3 it means 1 over 3 which is 1 over 9 yes this is the answer this is so simple right if you understand this entire method then i would like to ask you a small task let's say 7 divided by 7 and that divided by 7 and that divided by 7 and so on that means 7 is divided by 7 7 times this is the task tell me what's the answer of this task if you find the answer write it in the comment section i will tell you whether your answer is correct or not then i would like to give you a big thanks for supporting all the time and Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel. It will help me a lot. I need a lot of subscription from your side. Thank you very much for watching and see you in my next videos. Bye bye.